This month we were featured in um, Real Simple on um, 87 Ideas of How to Have a Stress-Free Thanksgiving. So there's a great article in the magazine this month if you're looking for more ideas. Something to keep in mind with turkey. Um, I've also found in the last couple months that people don't know how to cook turkey. They always say to me, your turkey's so great, mine is so not great. And most of it is that people don't know how to cook a turkey. And the, the, t the key is two things. One, the breast and the thigh and the leg cook at two different degrees of doneness. And the breast finishes first. And if you leave the, the breast attached to the whole bird to finish the leg and the thigh, you're overcooking your breast. So you have to pull out the breast and pull it off and put the leg and the thigh back in to finish. And if you don't do that, it's going to be overcooked. Or you can just eliminate the leg and the thigh, if people aren't big fans of it, and just buy the turkey breast itself and roast that. So you need about a pound of person per person of turkey. Turkey's um, a lot of bones. It's 50% bones. So you need to really have that kind of amounts before. And that's your starting weight. And you need to take about a week to defrost your turkey in your refrigerator. And there is no difference between buying fresh, organic, and frozen, in my opinion. I think it is just fine to buy a butterball. It's a great turkey. What will you do with the leftovers? Well, the bread, if you have bread with your meal, you can use, use it to make French toast. You can use it to um, make croutons, make bread pudding. The vegetables, I end up with all of the vegetables in my soup. I start a soup on the eve of Thanksgiving. After I've started the, um, the, all the meat's been carved off, I throw my whole carcass into a pot with celery and carrots and onions, and I start making my stock. And then I go into my refrigerator, and I see what's left, and I throw all the vegetables in the next day. But there's lots of great things for turkey leftovers. Burgers, pizza, soup, Rubens, turkey salad, whole barbecue pork sandwiches. All you have to do is pull the turkey apart and stir in your favorite barbecue sauce. You've reinvented something after three days of leftovers that people don't want to eat your turkey anymore. <laughs> My kids, mom, please. So, whom will you invite? What will you eat and drink? How will you shop and clean? How will you cook and serve? And how will you have fun? I hope that you have found some ideas here today, and I'd be happy to ask, answer any questions if you have any. Thank you very much for having me.